Welcome to our Holly Terminator X training part 11. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at setting up and working with our ignition parameter programming. Now, this is going to be relating to the cam and crank pattern for the engine that you're trying to control. If we have this selected incorrectly or set incorrectly, the Holly will never be able to allow the engine to run properly. It uses the cam and crank pattern to distinguish when it needs to fire the coil or fire the fuel injectors. So this is a critical step in the calibration process. I'm going to be going in and showing you the basics of setting things up and then we'll move in some more advanced setup and functionality looking at the custom option if you're trying to control an engine that's not in the predefined drop down menu that holly is going to be offering so we're gonna have a lot to learn let's jump into this video so we can check this out okay so let's get started we're going to be taking a look at working with our ignition parameter programming and our holly terminator x system this is going to allow us to program the cam and crank pattern of the engine that we're working with when we have wired into our holly terminator x it's going to allow the holly to be able to fire the coils and injectors properly. This is one of the key fundamental things that we have to make sure is set right within the Terminator X software. We also can change things like our ignition coil dwell. Depending if we change the coil packs we're working with on the engine, we need to make sure we know how to go in and set and configure our ignition parameters. Now for most applications, we probably don't need to edit any of this because we're using a Holly supplied harness for a very particular niche application like a GM Gen 3 or a GM Gen 4 or something like a Ford Coyote engine that we're trying to control with our Terminator X. But again, if we're making changes, we need to know where this is located, what the parameters represent, and how to make our appropriate changes. So the first thing we're going to do here is make sure that we're in the offline mode. We can see at the top right now, USB link is showing here. It's not showing online that I'm online with my Terminator X. We can't access the information if we're online to be able to make updates and changes or even scroll and navigate through the file. So we have to make sure we're offline. So what I'm going to do here is move into my third icon here, labeled System ICF. That allows me now to go under System Parameters, moving down here into our third option, Ignition Parameters. When we select this right here, we can see we're going to move into our area labeled Ignition Type. Now this seems very, very basic of what we're working with and what we're programming. However, there's a lot more to this depending on how we're setting things up here with our Terminator X. So first and foremost, the file that I have open, we can see that at the top right now, this is a GM Gen 3 based file. And we can see here the ignition type is selected based around the crank reluctor pickup wheel, how many teeth it has. So in this case, a GM LSX 24 tooth usually designates a GM Gen 3 engine. So we'll find in this situation, we've selected this. Now, when we select this option in our drop down menu, it's specifying the pattern it's going to expect on our camshaft sensor, on our crank sensor, also specifying that we're in a sequential fuel injection mode, meaning we fire one injector per cylinder in the firing order of the engine. So we're very specific of how we're timing the fuel delivery into the engine. And we're also going to be then assuming that we're firing the coil in our direct fire or sequential mode, where again, we're firing that in the firing order of the engine. And it's going to be specifying what the dwell is going to be for the coil type we're working with. This is assuming that, again, we have all stock coil packs, all stock cam and crank patterns. It's very easy to use this in a selection list. So when we're grabbing our global files that are in our base file directory from Holly, and if it's for a plug and play application, such as the GM Gen 3 or a Ford Coyote or a Chrysler application, you'll find that the ignition type here will be paired together and it's going to group all this information into one. If we take a look back here in your engine parameters, we're going to find here under injection strategy, this is set to sequential. I can't change it. It's fixed. And that's because if we jump here into ignition parameters, it's selected on this option here. So it assumes if we're running this pattern, we're going to be running in a sequential style uh, fuel injection system, which is going to be the what we want to run in. It's going to be the advantage of having our cam sync. So again, it predefines some things in our software. We also find something like our coil dwell is grayed out. We can't access this information. Coil dwell is going to be relating to how we charge the coils so they produce the proper amount of spark energy so that we have proper spark and that we have proper combustion out of our engine. We might want to go and specify what we want the coil dwell to be at, but in this configuration, we can't do that. It's locked down. It's very specific of a GM Gen 3. Now, if we move into our drop down menu, we find we have a lot of choices to choose from. We can find here at the very top. Let's go through some of these. Let's talk about these. Then we have at the very bottom here, custom. Custom is going to allow us to customize this and go in and be very specific of how we want to work with it. 
we want to program our coil dwell and we are on a GM Gen 3. Like Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.